Hey guys, it's Steve Lee. I am back here again with another Divi share quick tip. So today we're going to be talking about um, Divi's newest um, update that uh, in regards to responsive screen sizes and native source set support. Um, so this is kind of a big deal and it's been a long time in the making. And thank you, Elegant Themes, for uh, for coming out with native source set support. Uh, if you guys don't know much about it, we're gonna do a do a brief little discussion on it, and uh, and kind of show you in action how to install it. Um, you know how to install the update and make sure that uh, thumbnails are regenerated and that it's working properly. We're gonna go through um, through all of those things. And we'll try to do it in 10 minutes or less. I'll do my very best, I promise. So um, the 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 original problem that we as web designers were facing is that, um, that and this might seem pretty obvious, but um, not everybody on the internet browses with the same screen size. So some people use, like me, I'm using a really huge, like a 34 inch oversized desktop monitor right now. And some people use, you know, tiny little screens on their smartphones in their pockets. And some people are using, you know, seven year old smartphones in their pockets. Um, and this presents some challenges around how we deal with um, page design, especially for images. And it isn't just the size of the images, it's the resolution as well. Um, you know, there, there are 4K HD monitors and Apple's retina display is packing more and more pixels than ever into a smaller space. And that trend is likely to continue, um, you know, here in the future. So to make images look good on these screens, the source files are needing to be much larger, two, three, or even four times the size of the, the images intended for conventional displays. So one of the solutions that, that some people do is they just serve the, the highest resolution image to every single visitor. So whether they're on a smartphone or they're on an oversized desktop display, they're going to be getting the same image. Um, you know, say it's a you know, two megabyte image just so that it's got the most resolution. And, and therein lies the problem. Somebody surfing on a smartphone or... Um, you know, on, on a tablet or something like that. Maybe they're on a data plan. They don't want to be downloading large images. They don't want to have to wait for images to download. And they don't want to deal with the slow sight speed that comes with bulky images like that. So um, the other solution that, to that is to serve different images to different visitors. And it, you know, it, it used to be that you had to, you know, do some HTML editing to, um, you know, upload five different versions of the same picture and specify the you know the density or the width of that image depending on what the user was browsing with so that's where uh, that's where source set comes in and it you know you used to have to do that manually but elegant themes has been kind enough to bless us with native source set support so when we upload one single photo it's actually um, it, it takes care of coding everything so that if somebody is searching on a, a you know browsing on a smartphone it's going to serve them a much uh, smaller version of that image than the the one you you know the monstrous one that you uploaded so let's see what that looks like in action here um, actually let, let's go through how how to install that for Divi um, that would be step one so I've got two um, two tabs pulled up here one is a Oh, these tabs are going to be in my way here. Let's move this over to here. So these um, these tabs, one is a staging site for um, this client, Raphael Homes. So staging, Raphael is the staging site. And then this is the production site, just raphaelhomes.com. And I've already gone through updating and making sure that the source set is enabled on this. And we can see that here when we do inspect element we can see that it does have um, all the, the source set markup here. And we'll see this in action. We'll, we'll change the, the screen sizes and see the image change and the, um, the code change over here. And uh, on the staging site, I have not updated it yet. I've got that Divi update waiting right here so we can do it together. Uh, so let's go into doing that now. We'll get Divi updated. And there is one important thing that you'll have to do in order to make sure source set is working for everything on your existing websites. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. So I'm just going to click update theme here to get it updated uh, past 3.27. Uh, this will just take a second. We can do this. Uh, we can do this live. 
and it looks like we're all done. So um, just doing the update is not enough. You have to um, install a new plugin and the one that I use, I'm sure that there are multiple that do this, but the one that I use is called Regenerate Thumbnails. And you can see here, uh, this is the one that I use. It's got over a million active installations and um, it's super simple and easy to use. I'm gonna press install now and we will get that activated. And where this is, uh, it's not on the, the menu over here on the left and it doesn't have a settings button. You actually have to go to your tools, hover over tools on your left sidebar and then click on regenerate thumbnails. And this is what you're presented with. Um, what I do is I go ahead and uh, uncheck this box here that says skip regenerating for existing uh, correctly sized thumbnails. It is faster, but we want to make sure that every single um, you know attachment on the site is uh, is regenerated no matter what. So I'll click this top button here, regenerate thumbnails for all 496 attachments. And this takes a while. This takes, um, this will probably take the better part of 10 or 12 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and stop uh, or pause the recording here and we'll pick back up when this is done. All right guys, and we're back. The uh, Regenerate Thumbnails has finished and uh, we're over here in the, the live production site now. We'll give you uh, just a little, um, a little way to check to see and make sure source set is working and that regenerate thumbnails is working properly and that um, your visitors, your website visitors are being served the um, a, a responsively scaled image. So we're going to right click and uh, I'm in Chrome here. It's uh, very similar with, uh, with Firefox if you're designing in that, but I'm just going to right click and uh, hit inspect or inspect element. And you can see here on the live site, we've got um, uh, all this markup at the bottom here that's, that's pretty much saying uh, if the screen is X amount of pixels wide, serve this image. And if it's this wide, serve this image. So that's kind of what all this stuff is saying. And to give you an example of what it looks like if you don't have source set set up properly, um, we'll pop back over here and it would look something like something like this. So here's the same image from the, um, the staging site that did not have it set up. Um, the inspect element from that, it does not have any of this markup at the bottom here. And so I'll give you a little example of uh, what it looks like when it scales and sizes. Let's shut this. We'll pull up our inspect element. So I'm going to go ahead and resize here and you can see in the background here that the um, that all this code in, in inspect element will change as the as we hit certain breakpoints. There we go. So that just changed. So we can see it go back and forth between uh, looks like about seven hundred and four pixels. It looks like is the the breakpoint. So that's it. That's what I have for you for today, guys. If you haven't um, done this update yet, get right on it, and uh, and it's going to have a really big impact, uh, especially on your mobile browsers. If you've got um, you know large images that you're serving, um, you know especially on websites like this where there are um, there are galleries. Um, for instance, it, just just this one page this one single image is uh, is over one megabyte in size and a lot of these galleries have you know a dozen or so images so um, for for websites like this in particular that have um, really really large um, size pages this is gonna native source set support is gonna be a really really huge benefit because when those files get served on say a mobile screen display you know, they're going to be, you know, 100 kilobytes or so or 200 kilobytes instead of a one megabyte, you know, photo, uh, one megabyte file size for one single photo. Um, so really, really, really big um, update that they came out with. Thanks again to Elegant Themes for that. And if you guys have any questions about, um, you know, the, the process of doing this and making sure that source set is working, feel free to uh, hit us up in the comments. 
um, but it's pretty straightforward. Update Divi, pass 3.27.1, and then download that regenerate thumbnail plugin and regenerate all your thumbnails. And that's it, everything should be working. And um, you know now how to double check to make sure uh, that it is in fact working with inspect element. So one thing to note here is that um, source set does not work for for background images at all it only works for images that are in an image um like an in an in image module um which, which means that it has image tags on it because um all divi is doing is is adding that source set markup to the image tag for um for each individual image so it does not work for instance for this background image here you will not see um source set markup for that whereas you would for something like this picture here you would see all the source set markup um, so that's definitely worth noting all right guys that's all i've got for today um, hope you have a good one and we'll see you on the next video Bye bye